Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and today we will have a quick short look at how to change screen resolutions in Windows 8. One of the features of Windows has always been to adjust screen settings depending on the usage and what you will do. Uh, sometimes, well most of the time, you'll want the uh, Windows screen resolution to be at the optimum resolution of the display that you are using. Every display has an optimum resolution and it will depend largely on screen size. So the bigger the screen usually the bigger the resolution you'll be uh, wanting. But there are times for some reason where you might want to change that resolution. One of the reasons people will change resolution sometimes is to get uh, bigger text, bigger tiles, bigger information on a screen. And yes, you can adjust the settings, but sometimes the adjustments don't fit um, necessarily what you need. So you'll want to find a way to actually change the size of the text and of the tiles and the icons and one of the way to do that although not necessarily the best is to change the resolution of your screen so how do you do that well simply go into your charms bar by going into the corners or swiping from uh, right to left go into the search and start typing resolution resolution and click the settings on the right side of the screen and you'll see appear adjust screen resolution on the upper left so you'll click there and you'll be sent to what is the desktop basically and this desktop will have the screen resolution information here so here it gives you first of all the information about what display you're using so here it says mobile PC display which is a screen on my laptop uh, it might give information about the screen if you're using for example a desktop it might tell you that you have a, uh, a ViewSonic, an Acer or whatever screen you're using uh, but it can also say generic screen because sometimes it doesn't have drivers for it just below you got resolution resolution is the number of pixels pixels are the little dots that make your screen from left to right horizontally and from top to bottom vertically this display has a recommended setting that's 1366 by 720 uh, 768 and you'll actually see that most of the settings are always in the recommended area so if you click the little arrow on the right you'll see a slider you'll see one of the resolutions not always the top sometimes like in this case it's the top setting because it's the highest settings of the screen but sometimes it could be somewhere else somewhere in the middle but you'll have one resolution that is um, set as recommended but you'll have the slider that will let you choose other resolutions. So if you take the slider and you pull it down, you'll see that there are resolutions that are now showing up. And depending on the graphics card and your capabilities, you'll have a few choices. Like here I have four choices. You might have 10, 20, 30 choices. It depends on your display and on your graphics chip. Once you chose the resolution that you want, you'll click apply and you'll see the screen change and it's going to give you a delay of 15 seconds. So if, for example, you choose a wrong setting and you just can't see anything anymore, just wait 15 seconds and you'll be uh, sent back to the old resolution in case there was a problem. So that's a good way because playing with screen resolutions can sometimes make your display go uh, crazy and you just can't see what you're doing anymore. So there's a safeguard that lets you, um, you know, have 15 seconds of delay and then it reverts back. But if the resolution that you choose is okay, then you'll simply click keep changes and it will just stay put. Now, 
if you notice that I changed my resolution and you see that on each side there are black bars so uh, playing with resolution means that you'll sometimes need to go around the different screen resolutions to actually get the right one for your display sometimes some screens will actually adjust automatically to the resolution you're using others don't and will actually have black bars either on the left or the right or the top or the bottom or sometimes uh, all around sometimes they'll have a small square in the middle of the screen so that's the screen resolution you can play around with those settings uh, by making a resolution smaller it often makes texts and icons bigger so that's uh, one of the reasons you might want maybe you have a special piece of software that requires a specific resolution to work that's also something that might prompt you to change your screen resolution for Windows but in most cases and what I recommend actually is to really put it to the recommended setting that is on your list uh, because this recommended setting is really the resolution that's made specifically for your machine and um, it will basically have probably the crispest uh, screen on that machine so um, that's how to adjust screen resolution in Windows 8 um, in case you are looking at this feature if you enjoy our videos please um, subscribe to our channel we have uh, videos every week um, coming up uh, lots of uh, comments and questions also are uh, written every day if you can answer someone else's question on the uh, little comments there below the video please feel free uh, to uh, answer because at the rate of the questions I am unable I'm alone and I'm unable to answer every question all the time so if you can help someone uh, it's a great great idea and it's really fun and we can have a little interaction here and help each other in our windows and so if you also have a video you'd like us to make about a feature uh, please let us know we'll try to put that um, feature online for you and you'll be helping others at the same time and hope you take a look at our other videos if you have that new Windows 8 machine trying to learn how to use it we have lots of videos talking about all sorts of Windows 8 um, features and helping you use your computer to the maximum well, thanks for watching and hope you come back to the official Windows 8 channel bye bye